In my last video, I went over how to install Elementary OS on a dual boot with Windows. In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove Windows. By the way, if your goal is to remove Elementary OS, check out another video that I've already made on how to remove Ubuntu from a dual boot with Windows, which I'll have linked up here. That's the same process. But once you're ready to delete Windows, let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing you're going to do is plug in your Elementary OS install media, then get into your boot menu using the boot menu key that you used when you were installing Elementary OS. Then again, use the up and down arrow keys and the enter key to select your Elementary OS install media. And then you're going to select try or install Elementary OS. And then once you get to the install screen, you're going to select your language, keyboard layout, and then select custom install advanced at the try or install screen. And then you're going to click modify partitions to get to the same partition wizard that we used when we installed Elementary OS, except instead of creating partitions, we're going to delete our Windows partitions. So starting off with the EFI system partition for Windows, don't confuse us with the one for elementary OS. Wes, the Windows one is usually smaller and the very first one. So I'm going to delete that. Then delete this Microsoft Reserve partition and your NTFS partition, which holds your Windows. And now for your EFI partition for your elementary OS, you're going to highlight that then click this resize slash move button and then drag it to the beginning. Then click resize slash move, click OK. And now you should have this unallocated space here. Now before we expand our elementary OS partition, we'll come down to this extra NTFS partition, which is also used by Windows, then delete that. OK, now highlight your Elementary OS EXT4 partition, then click resize slash move, and then expand this to fill up the entire remaining space. Then click resize slash move. Once you're done, it should look something like this. Just click this check mark to apply your changes, and then click apply. And then just let it do its thing. It will take actually a while, depending on how big your elementary OS partition is. All right, and then once it says all operations successfully completed, just click close to verify that, yep, everything applied. All right, and don't worry about this two megabyte unallocated space. Gparted just does that. But now we can close out of Gparted and then come up here and restart the system. And then you can remove it, your elementary OS install media. Once you see this message, then press enter. And now once you get into your grub menu, you'll still see an option for Windows. Don't select that, just boot into elementary OS. And then there's just one thing we gotta do in elementary OS to get rid of that entry for Windows. And once you're at the desktop, just go up to Applications, and then Open Terminal, and then type sudo update-grub, then press Enter, punch in your password, and then once that finishes, we can now restart the system. Now we see that instead of bringing us to our grub menu, it just boots us straight into elementary OS. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.